Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and there are Kumbanakum. So this video is focused on anyone who's transitioning into being a full-time student to being a full-time employee. As simple as moving from school to workforce. There's so many changes um, involved along this process. There's so many mental health um, transitions physical transition, emotional transitions involved in this process and I feel like uh, not many people talk about these processes. I wanted to give my review on how I feel and what are the changes that I've noticed within myself in this one month. So number one thing is I let go of my physical health completely. I For the longest time I blamed my environment, my surroundings but now when I'm thinking about it I realized that it's just me who changed. It's just me who's not making enough uh, effort to change where I am right now. So a quick background, a quick review was I moved from college to working. And when I was in school, I was surrounded by people my age, people who were highly energetic, people who you know, loved living and they did all kinds of activities. We were involved in dance, we were involved in hot yoga, swimming, tennis, badminton. We played for fun and that was how college was like. So physical activity was already part of our life. And when you move into a workforce as you're working with a diverse range of age groups. You can be working with I don't know people your age group but also people who are much much older and their way of thinking their style of thinking can be completely different physical uh health may not seem important to them as much as it does to you or maybe they're just not passionate about going to the gym as you are and as that talk about taking care of your body being in a good physical shape like reduces around you as that topic is stopped being talked about you kind of let it go in the back of your head it just like slides through i feel like that's what happened to me the less people talked about their physical health the less i was bothered about mine and i didn't want to take care of it but this had an impact on my career where um I was constantly exhausted when I sleep throughout and then by the time I wake up it's already late and I have to go back to bed because I have to be up the next morning to go back to work and so I have fallen into this cycle where I am going to work and then I'm exhausted so I'm taking a nap and then the nap leads into a sleep pattern where I have to go back to sleep again so I can go back to work the next day and so I realized I have I still have zero time or zero energy for the gym. So that was one factor that happened as a result of going to a full-time job is I lost focus of my physical health. Number two, huge biggest point. You are your own cheerleader at work. Do not, please, again, do not expect anyone to appreciate, to recognize what you are doing at work. I know workforces are huge on, oh, we recognize you, oh, you know, you're talented. Yes, that is huge. It is a culture. It is a thing. But there's so many little battles that you overcome on an everyday basis, and not everyone is going to know that. They have their own battles to deal with. In an environment where there's 50,000 plus employees, and they're all so busy, they're not going to come after you. They're just going to completely forget about you. They're not going to tell you, thank you for doing it. Or they're not going to tell you, hey, good job, you learned that. So at that time, it's really, really critical that you appreciate yourself. So something that I did today is I learned a new technique at work. I learned how to manage a new equipment. And I was so proud of myself for that. So I went into the bathroom and I gave myself a pep talk. And so again, like in college you don't have your best friends around you you have no homies around you so don't expect that please be your own cheerleader be your own homie come home talk to your best friend tell tell her what happened or tell him what happened but again at that moment at that spot you are your own best friend so you have to hype yourself out so that was number two and number three, and the final point, is getting along with people. I have realized this, that 
Do not try to make friends with everyone at work. See everyone as a co-worker and let it stay at that point. Don't share any personal information unless you know them on a personal level. And you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that friendship back in return from most people. I'm not going to say that this is the case for everyone, but this is the case for most people in the initial stages. I repeat, this is the case in the initial stages. Life is going to change. Everything's going to change as you have worked in a specific company for X amount of years. So yes, you do form friendships at work, but in the initial stages, just while you're getting to know people, I would say take it slow. Um, don't get too invested in anyone. Don't assume that they're going to be your friend. You will never know how people will turn out to be. So take your time. You have all the time in your life now that you have landed your very first job. Congratulations on that. But that's about it. So these are the three main points I wanted to share with you guys. This is not applicable, applicable to everyone. This is just based off my personal experience. This is what I learned. I'm so thankful for what I have and I'm happy with my job. But these are the three main things I wish someone told me before I entered my full-time job. So here's that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it was helpful. Again, video pakka vandhe. Ella arukum nandri